everyone, it's Chloe here and I'm the owner, maker and creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is part two of market prep and um, so far since uh, filming part one, I've been doing a lot of little bits and pieces in the background. So I've made more of my dim sum, also made some fortune cookies that I will sell on the day. Um, I also found some time after fixing my silhouette um, to make some stickers as well. I only made die cut stickers. I didn't make any um, sticker sheets only because I haven't fully fixed my silhouette and cutting sticker sheets is kind of out of the question right now. So I've just made some die cut stickers um, of some of my Easter Friends characters. I don't know if you saw the digital illustrations on my um, Instagram, but I took those illustrated um, illustrations and converted them to stickers, uh, which was really fun to make. It actually took me a whole day to make them and I made a lot to the point where my ink actually ran out. Um, so yeah, and because I was making stickers or I'm planning to sell the stickers, I actually went out to Daiso. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I actually went out to Daiso to grab some little containers to contain my stickers. So I found these little containers and they were perfect for the stickers for the day. I only bought three and and um, in each one there's only three compartments, but they were the perfect size. So got three of those, which meant that I can, um, I guess, sell nine different die cut stickers really hoping that there will be a nice uh, little addition to my market and would be a hit as well. And I hope people will like um, the il little illustrations that I've done. Um, so yeah, I've been making stickers. I also received my banner that I purchased from Vista Print. It is perfect. Um, it turned out so nice, so well, and I really can't wait to use the banner at my market and future markets as well. Um, I also did a few other little things where I designed some new um, backing cards for my uh, fruity brooches. Haven't made more fruity brooches, but I'm hoping to make more this week. Um, but yeah, I've just been working hard in the background and I thought I'll just start to film part two just to start doing the next things and that is actually um, designing the signboard for my dim sum um, so creating the vinyl and sticking on the chalkboard that I showed you last week and also doing the pricing um, as well so I don't know if you remember me saying last week I'm thinking of putting price tags on all the big toys um, only just to make it easier for people to know the prices of each individual toy rather than me saying a large toy is this much a medium toy is this much because who knows what is a large toy and what is a medium toy so I'm going to do that today. Since my silhouette is working again, I am probably going to cut um, little mini tags and have prices on them. Um, I also thought about buying some safety pins so that I can put them on um, the safety pins and on the day when people buy it, I can just take the pricing off and can reuse them again. Um, but that's just the thought. Um, not sure yet. I don't have any safety pins at home at the moment, so I might need to buy some just to see how I go with that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I've done so much already. Um, oh, and the other thing, I need to pack some kits to sell. Um, so I, I read your comments from my first video and the encouragement to, to sell the kits at the market is a, um, was a really good encouragement. Um, so I'm going to make some and I'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, but yeah, I still need to pack some kits for the market. The reason why I haven't done it is because I don't have much space at home. And so if I'm, um, pre-packing kits, I'm going to have to find some room to place them somewhere. So I might just leave them till the last week so that they're not sitting around the apartment for too long. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. There's a lot to do, a lot to um, plan still. So I guess we should really get started. Also, I forgot to add that I purchased these paper bags online. Um, I just, I actually had these from a while ago that I bought from Daiso. So I'm going to use these for the market, but I bought these online to put um, the smaller toys like the dim sum and any stickers. Um, and this will be obviously for toys a little bit bigger, but I still need to stamp my logo on these bags just to show my brand on it. 
And also I need to buy some larger bags for my larger toys as well. And also, again, stamp my logo on those. So I might start stamping these first and then I'll, you know, get into um, designing my display board for my dim sum toys. Hey guys, so I've just transferred all my little bits onto some transfer tape um, and I've also just given my blackboard a little bit of a wipe just to remove any dust that might have been sitting on it. Um, so now I'm just going to transfer my um, cut pieces onto the blackboard and hopefully it will transfer nicely I'm I'm a bit nervous but this is my first time doing something like this so hopefully it will go smoothly and it will look amazing so I guess I'll just get started on that <laughs> Okay guys, it's finally done. <laughs> it actually took so much longer than expected. I think I spent like 
two to three hours making this. Um, I think the reason why it took me so long was because the vinyl wouldn't stick to my transfer tape and it was just taking so long to get it onto that tape. So, but once I got it on, I was able to stick it onto the um, blackboard or the chalkboard very easily. And I am in love with what I've done. Um, and also just notice that the vinyl is actually matte as well. Um, I don't think you can tell, or maybe you can because there is no shine to the vinyl at all, which is perfect because the chalkboard is obviously, obviously a very matte surface. So I am actually really happy with how this turned out. So yay, I'm so happy. Um, so I'm going to see how it looks when I put on the stand. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I made my calculations right. So I'm going to see how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys, on the stand. It is perfect. I guess the two, three hours was well worth it. <laughs> okay, so now that the... Um, dim sum um, signage board is done. I'm going to make the other signs. Um, so, so just the other day I went to my local craft store and just bought some foam core. Um, this one is self-adhesive which is great. Um, so it just means that Whatever I print on can just automatically stick onto this, which is perfect because I'm just going to print um, the other labels on some nice, on some thick paper, and then I'm just going to stick it on top of this, and then I'm going to cut it out. Um, so, yeah, I bought this at my local Spotlight store. I'm sure you can find something like this in um, your local craft store as well. So I'm going to make my other signages place it onto a foam core. Um, just thinking about it, I think I need to probably either put some Velcro on the back so that and Velcro on some of the boxes so that I can stick some of these signages on. Um, and also the reason for the Velcro is that depending on what I place in those boxes, then um, I can put different labels for them um, just to add that bit of flexibility and so I'm not wasting um, different signages that I'm making for my um, for my store. So I'm going to go on back onto the computer and start creating this little signages uh, for the other things. And then I'm going to make the tags for the larger toys, which hopefully won't take as long as it took to make that little signage for my dim sum toys. <laughs> Okay, I just want to show you guys something and this is something that I learned in uni when I was studying architecture. So I just cut my foam board and you can see that the foam is not cut very nicely and the reason for that is because the blade is blunt and so I always do a test cut and I guess you could say that was my test cut to see how um, good the cut will be so now that I know my blade is blunt I'm just going to snap my blade just so that I can get a new blade and hopefully my cut will be a lot cleaner so I'm I just made that change but that is something that I learned um, while I was studying architecture um, and I guess it was a very good thing to learn just to make very clean models um, and I guess that's it's the same with making tags as well. I don't want to have rough edges um, on my foam core. So now that I've cut this, so I actually am thinking of placing a laminate on this actually, just to keep it 
um, waterproof um, because I don't want my signage to smudge or the, the text get affected by water. So I'm just going to grab my laminate. Okay, so the laminate I'm using is Avery laminate and this is um, the laminate that I use for my stickers as well. So I just thought why not use it for the signage as well. So I've got these on Amazon which is really good. It's been really good so far and I've been using it ever since I started making stickers. Um, yeah. stuck onto the foam core um, and honestly the self-adhesive surface or the self-adhesive um, aspect of the foam board is actually really great because I remember in the past I had to use double-sided tape and now it's stuck on so that is great don't even need to use glue so this is the moment where I see if my blade is sharp enough but just having a little touch is definitely sharper than before um, and something that I also learned is when I cut foam core is to don't put too much pressure because when you put too much pressure you start to the, the foam starts to cut not as nicely so you just do little little cuts um, and gradually you'll slowly cut through the foam core and then Hopefully, I will get a nice clean cut. Oh, it's a little bit messy, but it's definitely better than what it was before. So I'll just show you the difference. So this is with the blunt blade and this is with the sharp blade. And you can already see the difference. So I'm just going to keep cutting. There we have it. So these are for the fruity brooches, the macrame, novelty cards, die cut stickers, and mug rugs. Not so looking at the edges, it's not perfect, but it's better than what it was before. So I'm not gonna complain. I think if I was really bothered by it, I'll probably just stick, I don't know, like wrap it around wrap some piece like paper around the edges to cover it up but honestly not too bothered by it because it's just going to sit in front of my items and people aren't going to see it as much so the reason why I'm doing this is so people know how much things are really so not going to be too fussed about the messiness of the edges but definitely better than what it was before okay so the last bit of tags that I need to do is the price tag so i'm gonna get started on that okay so i actually just um received a parcel from vista print so i'm just gonna open it up and i think i know what it is um it's most likely the backing cards for my uh fruity brooches so i can show you finally what they look like at least I think that's what's in here. Yes, it is. Okay. I also got some extra um, business cards as well because I figured I'll need them for the market as well. Um, but yeah, oh, I hope these turned out okay. Let's see. Which one's this one? Yay! So, 
I don't know if you can see that. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so these are the card backings for um, my fruity brooches and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with that. So what I did was I just purchased the postcard and I just noticed the cardboard is actually a bit thinner what to what they used to be, but that's okay because it's just a backing card anyways. So the plan with this is that, um, and I guess I'll just show you what I'm going to do with it since I have everything out. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of for my cut. So, so I have my lemon brooch right here. And on this card, I also made, wrote a little quote or a little pun. You are simply the zest. <laughs> um, and the these two dots, they're not the eyes. They're actually where I need to punch holes. So I just purchased a standard postcard. And the idea is that I just cut it in half. And that will be the backing cards for my um, brooches. So I'm just going to cut these in half. That should be half. Yes, perfect. So that's what it looks like. Um, I like my corners rounded. So I've just got this um, corner rounder cut thingy i don't know what it's called but i bought it from amazon i'm just going to trim the corners because everything looks nicer with rounded corners in my opinion and then i just grab my single hole punch tool and i'm just going to punch those holes i'm hoping that these are in the right location hopefully they should be but let's just see um, So punched my holes and so my brooches uses this kind of backing. That's why I need to punch holes into it. And now I just thread it in. And voila! Oh my god, that is perfect, guys. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with it. So all I have to do is make more. Um, and then I just place these into a cellophane bag to protect it. And then that is how it's going to be sold. That is it. So I've also got my details here. So my website, my email, and also my Instagram. Got my logo and the color that matches the brooch. So for the other ones, the colors are different. I'll just show you what they are. So this is the watermelon one. So you are one in a melon. And then the kiwi one. And that is the kiwi one. So you hold the kiwi to my heart. So I'm really happy with these. The colors turned out really nicely as well. So I just need to cut them up. Um, I obviously have a lot printed, but this was the minimum um, amount that I could order. So... And I mean, my plan is to, you know, do more markets as well. So hopefully I will make use of all these cards. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with that. It honestly came at a really good time while I'm actually filming all of this. So I'm just going to put these away and I'll come back to it another day. That could be another video, I guess. <laughs> I put the wrong settings for the silhouette. <laughs>
And now it's it's just been half cut, so I am trying to figure out should I just hand cut it all again or should I just print it again and cut it again? I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. One thing to note guys is always do a test cut before you do a actual cut. Um, if I did a test cut then I wouldn't be cutting each tag out again. Good thing is because it's been semi cut already there's already a slight outline that makes it easier for me to cut I guess but still I would have wanted the silhouette to do all the cutting instead of me trying to cut it again okay guys this is my second batch of tags hopefully I got it right this time and I don't have to hand cut them Ah, uh, no. Okay, let me try another end. <gasps> okay, it seems to be okay. <gasps> it's okay so far, it's okay so far. Okay. Oh, okay. So much better. I have individual tags. Oof. So, I think I've decided that I will actually um, use safety pins so that I can reuse these. Um, so if someone buys a physical toy, I just need to make sure to take these off and then I can reuse them for future toys and that way I don't have to make more. I'm just cleaning up some of the edges because it didn't peel off as nicely as like as I wanted it to, but majority of them cut well. But just a little bit of cleaning up to do. At least it's better than my first batch, which had to be all hand cut. But it wasn't too bad. Um, it didn't take me too long. Okay, so I'm just gonna punch the holes. Okay, so we are into day two. And I just noticed I have a bruise on my arm. I have no idea how I got that. Okay, anyways. Um, so I felt like yesterday I got a lot done. So I feel like today could be a little bit more chilled in terms of market prep. Um, and it's already 12. So I had to do a little, a few little things this morning, filming some reels for my Instagram, packing some orders. Um... Just checking if I have any orders that I have to do, which I do. Kind of forgot to check on Monday. Whoops. Um, so I just got some of those packed up. Um, but yeah, I think today I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to cut some of the cards that I received yesterday from Vista Print. And then I'll probably make some of my fruity brooches because I haven't made them yet. So I need to kind of get that started. And then hopefully next week... I won't be too rushed, I guess. Also, I need to put some string on the tags that I made yesterday. And also, I need to purchase some safety pins as well. So, I think I'll get those done today and take it easy. Um, but yeah, I think I should really get started. <laughs>
Okay guys, so here are my fruity brooches. I am really happy with how it looks on its backing cards. I just noticed that my kiwi is sitting a little bit higher than the other fruits, but that's because I probably didn't um, sew this on in the correct position. So I'm just gonna take note of that. But otherwise it is looking really good and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, just glad that the quotes sit really nicely under the um, brooches so I'm just gonna keep working in the background um, and I might see how much I can make or how many I can make um, for the next two hours um, so yeah I'm gonna keep going hey mr. captain Ooh. <laughs> uh. Captain, you say hi? Hello. Hello. Okay guys, so in my two hours I only managed to make four brooches, which is not a surprise because it does take me half an hour to make one, which is very similar to my dim sum. Um, oops, just, oh, just dropped one. Um, the only difference is this actually doesn't require um, any stuffing and actually less yarn. So I think the reason why it's taken me a little bit longer is because I need to sew the little details and also the brooch piece at the back. So I think that's why it takes a little longer. But in terms of crocheting, like the crochet side of things, it's really quick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pack these into the backing cards and probably keep making them throughout the night. Um, I'm planning to end part two here. Um, and... Hopefully, we'll, I'll, I'll share part three very soon, which will be the finalization of my market prep. But I hope you enjoyed part two of my market prep. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, and also subscribe to my channel. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will have part three up very soon. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.